Good morning everyone and welcome to a new video on the channel. It is Saturday the 19th of August 2023 and today we're off back to the International Stadium. It is Gateshead versus Ebbsfleet United in the National League. So Herman Gates said, and uh, going into this game this afternoon, Ebbsfleet are currently in fifth place in the uh, National League table, and uh, I think for a newly promoted side, they've had a pretty impressive start. Actually, they have uh, won two and uh, lost one. Of course, uh, last season uh, they won the National League South by an absolute country mile. Uh, I'm not quite sure how many games had spare when it was confirmed, but I do know it was uh, quite a fair few. And uh, as for us, uh, where uh, currently in 10th place um, in my absence in midweek we picked up our first win of the season which was 4-2 away to uh, Dagenham and Redbridge um, I think like based on what I've seen so far and uh, what I've been told from like what happened at Dagenham uh, there is a lot of positives to our play like we are keeping the ball quite well I believe we are the currently top of the possession charts um, but I think it's maybe about uh, trying to be a little bit bit more effective with the ball. Of course, at Hartlepool last week, I think my main gripe with it was uh, we were just far too slow. Like we're having so much of the ball yet, um, we're just doing almost nothing. I mean, it sounds as though we rectified that on on Tuesday night, and uh, fingers crossed we can uh, do the same again today. But it's not going to be an easy game this by any means. Of course, the last time we did, we actually faced Ebb's fleet where uh, we were going we we're really being put through the mill by uh, Joe Callagher um, like the players weren't being paid on time I think we only had what 13 or 14 uh, senior players I think two of, the, two of those were goalkeepers as well so uh, pretty mad times so uh, and at the end of that uh, game we uh, like had a bit, bit of a mass protest in, in which the Ebb's fleet fans had, uh, joined in I think at the time they were going through something not too dissimilar with their owners so uh, it, I think that day you really saw um, the very best of football and its fans in an otherwise uh, pretty dire situation and uh, let's hope anyway that neither club is um, ever put in that situation again I think there is a, a pretty great mutual respect between Gateshead and Ebb's fleet as a result of that but uh, yeah uh, in terms of our uh, next four games, uh, like, like I think at the start of the season, I haven't really done that much travelling at all, ever, and, uh, that, and that trend's going to continue because uh, uh, three of the uh, next four at home and the one away games, Halifax, which uh, obviously isn't that long a journey. So uh, yeah, uh, but all the same, it's going to be a tough few weeks. But uh, let's hope uh, we can. Uh, get the ball rolling with our first home win of the season this is of course as well uh, new shirt collection day and I'm able to collect both the home and the away shirt uh, today so uh, fingers crossed uh, like those shirts can maybe bring a bit more luck than what that uh, yellow retro one did although uh, our track record on my personal shirt collection day isn't the best but uh, now that I mentioned that uh, let's hope that um, that can be brought to an end today Let's head on down to the International Stadium and find out how it all unfolds. So uh, I've, uh, I went to uh, collect my shirts and uh, turns out uh, Patrick, who are uh, doing the manufacturing this year, the sizes are a little bit different, so closures maybe by and say next to somewhere like that. Uh, I ordered a uh, too large and uh, like let's just say the they're a bit tight, so they're perhaps rather embarrassingly for myself. Uh, probably need to. Uh, cut down on the panels and stuff like that but I have had to size up and fortunately there was no uh, home 
ones in my new size available but uh, there was no A1 which is obviously what I'm wearing now I uh, quite like it actually um, so yeah uh, that is one out of two shirts collected today um, fingers crossed I'll be able to get the home one at the gaming is walk-in next Saturday <laughs> So the team's just warming up at Ebsfleet, uh, getting ready in this half as the away teams always do. It uh, looks as though they're going to be in their usual red home shirt this afternoon. And um, we're getting ready just here, of course, going to be in our traditional uh, white and black home shirt. Anyway, I will see you when the players are coming out of the tunnel ready to start the match. Oh, 
half time gate said one absolute United one uh, we are creating chances and have had most of the ball which is something I guess and I think but for a couple of uh, last ditch recoveries and uh, decent saves here and there I think we uh, probably would be ahead but uh, I must say like the way we uh, sort of play around at the back does not fill me with confidence at all um, I mean there's been a couple of times where we've nearly been caught out and it's not really materialised but you saw again in the uh, first two games we've seen on this channel at least this season and uh, by the sounds of it for uh, Dagenham's first on Tuesday night uh, like <sighs> there is times where, where we do get caught out and it just re reflects really badly on us so it's just something we've, we've got to you know address and uh, just like, like learn like m maybe get a grip of when we might be overplaying a little bit if you get what I mean, but I think uh, overall the attacking play has been okay. Um, I mean, I think like one thing I've noticed is uh, Kenton Richardson seems to be getting forward a, a bit more. So he was the one that uh, took the shot, which led to the deflection, which led to the goal. But um, it'd be interesting to see what sort of change we make in the second half. Uh, like I wonder if we might bring uh, Billy Chadwick on at any point, maybe in Rutley, just someone like that. But um, I think like. We are going to have more chances in the second half, so I just really hope we can maybe show that bit of extra composure in front of goal. As I say, just um, just think about what we're doing a little bit more at the back. Scoring! Why did I have go like that? Last time we got a home penalty. What's going to do about the keeper? Oh. Oh. Just a yellow for the goalkeeper. What, Steve? Yes! 
Smith. Get in! Seven minutes out of time, by the way. Come on! Full-time gates had four, Absolute United won. Uh, when I get things right, I am maybe a little bit guilty of an I told you so kind of attitude. But uh, when I get things wrong, uh, I am more than willing to hold my hands up. And uh, I've got to say, uh, well done to sort of, the players and the management this week for sort of really turning it around since last Saturday. Uh, what a difference a week makes, eh? Um, like the... Uh, Two games over the course this week, eight goals and uh, six points. Like, there's really not a lot to uh, complain about with that. And uh, like I think there's a long way to go, of course there is, but uh, points in August are every bit as important as uh, uh, points in April, aren't they? So uh, I don't think there's ever a bad time to get a decent run of form going. And uh, I think... Uh, off the back of this week and with uh, Ollie and uh, Whelan to hopefully come back in the not too distant future. Uh, there really is potential for us to uh, maybe uh, set the pace a little bit within this division. I mean, uh, we've got a tough weekend coming up next weekend, obviously uh, hosting Walking, who are never an easy team to beat. Then, uh, of course, the, the trip to Halifax, who we have a bit of a notoriously bad record against and again uh, another difficult team to beat so uh, it's, n it's not going to get any easier but uh, I think um, what I've seen today is um, maybe like players uh, maybe learned some of their own lessons in a way like I think we looked a lot more composed today um, like it's been like what I've been saying for sort of several weeks that like games don't need to be at a, 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 a all out tempo all the time like there is sort of times where we maybe do need to slow it down and take the sting out of it a little bit and uh, I think uh, the game management was a lot better today I must say um, I think like I don't think absolutely uh, as bad a side as what the scoreline suggests like you look at their start to the season of course they beat Rochdale on the opening day then they beat 
all the shot during the week. So uh, I think they're going to uh, have more than enough to stay up over the course of the season. And uh, like while we're on the subject of Ebbsfleet, uh, if there is any of their fans uh, watching, I just on behalf of uh, the entire Gateshead fan base, really, like I, just, I think we all just want to say thank you for uh, what you did for us uh, like a few years ago like when we were going as, as I mentioned at the start of the video like going through the mill a little bit with the owners and stuff like that it was how you stood with us so uh, like I'm, I've got to say I'm really looking forward to uh, the return game at Stonebridge Road uh, a little bit later on in the season but for now uh, yeah you've got to be really happy with that I thought uh, Stephen Wern obviously you got a hat trick I mean the first one there uh, that was a Bit, bit of a horror back pass but it was, it's on you where to be the second one a really uh, cheeky penalty that wasn't it but uh, the last one uh, a fantastic uh, ball through to him from Marcus Denanger and uh, he had all the time and all the space in the world just to slot it in the corner and uh, yeah he uh, did, did his dues with that so uh, big ups to Stephen Wern um, it feels kind of nice to uh, have a pretty upbeat ending to the video and on that note that is that for this video and I'll be back on Tuesday night and it is a bit of a, a Teesside derby in uh, Northern League Division 2. It is Billingham Town versus Thornaby. So uh, really looking forward to that one. Until then, take care. Cheers for watching. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. See you later.